three bacteria carried in saliva into our stomach, some surviving and colonising our gut, where they settle and grow. Different bacteria successfully settle in different places, and there are many different places in the mouth. One of your back teeth may be 10 millimetres from front to back. This may not seem much, but to bacteria it is substantial. To give you some idea, if we imagine the size of bacteria to be the same as us, then the distance across the biting surface of a back tooth would be equivalent to 5,500 metres, which is the same as saying the whole of Worcester would represent the biting surface of just one tooth. Just think of all the places that we could find to hide. Cracks and crevices occurring naturally on a tooth or the edges of fillings, crowns or sealants provide safe havens for bacteria to attach and grow. When we brush our teeth it is unlikely even the most careful of us will brush all the colonies away so some survive to mature, eventually contributing to tooth decay or gum disease. We are very sensitive to changes in our mouths, some people being able to detect as little as a change of a twentieth of a millimeter. The best laboratory crowns are likely to have discrepancies around the edge of a fortieth of a millimeter, undetectable but still sufficient for bacteria growing twenty-five deep to hide from the toothbrush bristles or fibers of dental floss. It's not surprising that fillings and crowns don't stop further tooth decay. In fact, some may encourage it to occur in new places. Some bacteria can attach to tooth or gum and others attach to them. If conditions are suitable, they divide rapidly forming colonies. They can divide about every 30 minutes, so in one day they can double 48 times, which is the equivalent of 1200 years in human settlement terms, and in theory produce a staggering 281 trillion offspring. The best toothbrush bristles are about an eighth of a millimeter thick, and won't fit into the smallest grooves, cracks or defe defects on teeth so we have a difficult task of controlling bacteria living in these crevices. This doesn't mean toothbrushing is a waste of time because the number of bacteria in the colony is important, particularly for those causing gum disease. Careful brushing helps control gum disease, but is less effective at preventing decay. I often hear people say they brush three times a day and they can't understand how decay can start. Perhaps now you can appreciate why. We are now becoming more sophisticated as we begin to battle with bacteria at a molecular level, but more of that in other video clips.